IGN, you cheeky leaky buggers. Popular website Egan has had to take down a written and video review for Dead Cells, the lovely looking 2D action experience that I've been looking forward to having on the Switch specifically because apparently I need everything on the Switch now. Why did the review have to go down? Plagiarism, dear friends. Plagiarism. YouTube channel Boomstick Gaming published a review of Dead Cells, and a week later, IGN put up a suspiciously similar video. A video that seems to crib Boomstick's description of Dead Cells and use it as its own, as if the reviewer hadn't played the game at all and needed somebody else to describe how it played. Boomstick put up a comparison video between the two reviews, and while at first First, it looks like it could just be coincidence. As the comparisons go on and on, you start to think, holy shit, they're not even being bloody subtle about it. Here are a few choice comparisons from Boomstick's video. This bit's from their video coming up. I don't want to be an IGN about this, so full credit to Boomstick Gaming. Dead Cells takes the progression of a Metroidvania and integrates it into this procedurally generated action roguelite that has you slowly chipping away at its steep difficulty. It takes the progression system of a metroidvania and transforms it into a procedurally generated action roguelite. Dead Cells only falters slightly with some repetition setting in, especially on the early areas and during longer play sessions. Dead Cells does falter slightly with some repetition, but it's only felt in its earlier areas and during the extended play sessions. In most games of this genre, your coolest skills and spells are often set to strictly long recharge timers or a limited mana system, but in Dead Cells, your abilities have incredibly quick recharges and allow you to seamlessly integrate these gadgets into normal encounters and it doesn't make you feel penalized for using your cool stuff. Most games limit your most useful skills with long cooldown timers or a limited mana system, but Dead Cells encourages you to use your deadliest gadgets with a fast recharge timer. It never punishes you for using your best tactics. Dead Cells figures out an intriguing way to have your roguelite and metroidvania experience all in one by focusing on your failures and urging you to try something new the next time. Dead Cells strikes a perfect and engaging balance between the metroidvania and roguelite experiences by focusing on your failures and urging you to experiment each time you do fail. As far as IGN as a publication goes, I'm willing to put this down to ignorance rather than malevolence. There are doubtless many, many videos about dead cells, and I wouldn't reasonably expect an editor to see every single one. I mean, that's doubtless what plagiaristic writers hope for. They intend to prey on smaller channels that editors have a reduced chance of having watched to better get away with their bullshit. I find it rather believable to think that IGN as an entity just threw the review up without knowing that it was plagiarised, but that the writer specifically thought they'd somehow get away with nicking somebody else's work. But regardless, how stupid do you have to be? The game industry, and games media specifically, isn't really that huge of an ocean that it wouldn't get back to the originator of the work. And video game discussion is so full of quickly circulated gossip that of course this was gonna blow up before anybody could sweep it under the rug. The page that hosted the review text now reads Dead Cells Review Removed with a little comment from IGN saying, As a group of writers and creators who value our own work and that of others in our field, the editorial staff of IGN takes plagiarism very seriously. In light of concerns that have been raised about our Dead Cells Review, we've removed it for the time being and are invested. That's about what you could reasonably expect. They were told of the plagiarism, they've taken it down, and they've not exactly tried to dress up what happened as something less than plagiarism. Once again though, I'm dumbfounded by the idiocy on display. I find that more offensive than the plagiarism, and trust me, as someone who's been plagiarised before, I fucking hate plagiarism. As a former video game reviewer, I've been accused many times of having having not played a video game before writing a review. It's a stock and trade accusation, banded about by people too fragile and precious to understand and accept that some people don't like the same games they like, or that they like the games they don't like, which I always find a bit worse in a way. 
But given that it was the descriptive elements of dead cells that had been lifted from Boomstick Gaming's channel, I'd wager at least a small amount of money on the reviewer in question having not played dead cells, or at the very least, giving it about five minutes and then deciding that they were ready to write about it. The alternative, of course, is that they did play dead cells and enjoyed it, but were just fucking lazy and decided they didn't want to write certain paragraphs. In any case, thank you to the incalculable amount of people that sent me this. It certainly seemed to blow up overnight while I was asleep having a dream about watching Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns at SummerSlam, which really sucks because SummerSlam hasn't happened yet, which means I'm going to have to watch Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns again. On top of the last two times we had to see him fight this bloody year. People are going to be complaining because they've had to see it three times. I'm going to have watched it four. Fucking Boomstick Gaming thinks they have it bad with plagiarism. They're not having dreams about Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns. Anyway, that's clearly enough from me on the matter. Moral of the story, don't plagiarise other people's work, especially if you think they're small YouTube channels and therefore you can get away with it, because those channels will make a video and then that video will blow up. Any fucking fool could tell you that. So please, if you learn nothing else today, learn what this fucking fool is saying. Your plagiarisms will find you out. Anyway, Dead Cells is a roguevania that features some of the most satisfying 2D combat of the entire game. Explore, find blueprints, kill bosses, and earn cells in order to expand your arsenal over time that actually adds more game into your game the more you play it. Dead Cells is primarily a roguelite that features... Oh, the description's cut off after that.